I'm on YouTube. It is 5.33 in the morning. Uh, today's topic is gravity wave astronomy. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome space the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? Uh, so what are gravity waves? Um, gravity waves are these waves that we detected uh, last year. So they were um, uh, theorized 100 years ago by Einstein. Uh, but he said we'll probably never see them. <laughs> um, but we actually did see them. We detected them last year, and it take it took several months uh, to pour over the data to figure out that we did detect them. And then we detected them a second time, um, and so we're pretty sure that we've uh, detected them. So what are they? They're they're these. Um, most people think of waves as like when they're looking at the water and they see the waves on the water. Um, those waves are created by, uh, well, a number of things. One of them is wind that that, that uh, blows over the, the surface of the water and starts making waves. Um, there's also tidal waves that uh, are waves that are created by the tides. Um, basically those waves, you know, you look at the water, the surface of the water does this. Uh, if you think of a buoy that sits on top of it, it goes up and down and it can move along. Um, waves, there are there are sound waves. People understand sound waves. Um, there's an energy, and that energy is transferred to the atoms nearby. They vibrate, and then they can't handle that energy, so they release that energy to the next uh, surrounding uh, atoms and then that propagates along. Those are sound waves. Um, light waves or energy waves, microwaves, um, ultraviolet, uh, infrared, all those, those are waves that people understand. So gravity waves are these waves that, uh, again, think of the water with the waves. These waves travel and uh, alter space-time. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're not dealing with atoms anymore. Um, the actual fabric of space-time gets that uh, wave motion based off some uh, large impact. And the impact that we detected through gravity wave were uh, the collision of a couple of black holes. Um, how do we detect them? We have these large... Uh, laser detectors. Uh, we have two of them on the planet and so with laser detectors you have a laser beam shooting this way and a laser beam shooting this way bounces off something and comes back, bounces off something and comes back. Um, and with a disturbance in either of those lasers you have a truck going by and that'll disturb it. Um, but if you have two of these setups on different parts of the planet and they show the same signal then your wave is rather large um, and again Einstein calculated these things to be rather large and so if you have if you have a truck rolling by over here it'll it'll disturb this and not this you have an earthquake over here it'll disturb this and not this but if you have a gravity wave that goes through the entire planet it'll affect you know both of these at the same time so you know you have a gravity wave also the mathematics that Einstein developed to uh, determine the gravity wave uh, again was set a hundred years ago and we finally found a wave that matched that pattern that Einstein predicted and so we know we have a gravity wave um, so because we've detected this uh, there's there's now this new branch of gravity wave astronomy um, where by detecting these gravity waves we might be able to figure out things that we normally can't figure out in astronomy with with our telescopes that are based off of uh, regular light or microwave or infrared or any of the other detection types that we have with the satellites that we have. 
So what can we detect with gravity waves that we can't normally detect uh, with anything else? Well, <laughs> uh, so I was reading this article and they came up with a whole list of things. Uh, it turns out, well, so we can detect when two large black holes collide with each other. That's kind of cool. And, you know, that happens so many, I don't know how many millions of years ago. Um, they can, they can look at a, oh, um, so when a star supernovas or explodes, um, a lot of times that explosion, all that energy you would think that you would see that that energy coming at you real fast. Well, that energy kind of slows down because it bombards with all the matter of the star. Uh, and so it takes a while to for the energy to release, even though it's already exploded. Um, but the gravity waves generated by that explosion aren't, aren't hindered by that matter. And so those gravity waves come at us right away. If we detect that, then we know there's you know, the, the light coming from a supernova coming right after it, and we can train our telescopes to, to go look at it. Um, what else can we do? So, again, we can detect collisions. Um, we can, you know, there's, you know, when you think of a black hole, we don't know what a black hole is, actually, because we can't see anything in there. Uh, all that we know is that there's this, there's a certain distance from the black hole where light can't escape and all we really see is is what's called the event horizon um, and that's just a sphere uh, and again that's a certain distance where light can't escape well with gravity waves gravity waves escape it just fine so maybe if we detect the gravity waves we can see what this structure is inside here um, that'd be kind of interesting and cool that'd be you know that's the only way we can see what kind of what a black hole might be like. Uh, so, you know, there's all these various things that, that uh, gravity wave astronomy might be able to tell us. And uh, it is just starting out. We only detected the, you know, the two signals so far. They expect to get bigger equipment, more sensitive equipment, maybe detect 10 gravity waves per year. They want to try and push it to, they possibly maybe think can detect 100. You know, According to theory, gravity waves are, are rolling through us all the time. It's just, it's hard to detect because they're very, very subtle. Uh, very, very large waves. Again, because, you know, because it'll roll through the two detectors at the same time. But, so there you have it. Gravity wave astronomy. Whole new field of astronomy. Uh, born last year, this year. We're still figuring it out, so. Alright, I gotta head off to work. You gotta go do... Whatever it is you do, it's trippy thinking of space-time because you're not dealing with the atoms in space, you're dealing with the space itself, uh, which kind of, anyway, I'm done. Uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.